You look different. Hey, it's no secret I had the CGI surgery done. Disney Plus's Chippendale Rescue Rangers is very different from the Chippendale your parents and their parents grew up with. The famous duo has gone through many iterations over their more than 70 years of films and TV shows. And today we're going to round up all the changes the two tiny crusaders have gone through. What if I did something like... I am into nuts! <laughs> good, good, I love it. Great stuff! Number 1. Get your quills out for our first topic. The first time we ever saw this duo was Disney's 1943 animated short, Private Pluto. And a few things have changed since then. The original duo was hand-drawn in 2D animation, with some scenes even reused to save money on their films. Can you imagine a time when Disney was worried about money? Their new film actually does use a similar 2D animation style for Chip. But rather than hand-drawn, it's a computer-animated version of the same style. The film will also have computer-generated images, claymation, and video game motion capture techniques used, and is very unlikely to reuse scenes in order to save money. But I guess anything is possible. Number 2. Time changes all things, even animated chipmunks. When the duo first premiered, they were interchangeable little havoc wreakers. After a few years, the duo's personality started to diverge, Chip becoming a more leader type and Dale becoming a lovable goof. In the new film, these personalities are taken to a more grounded yet familiar feel. Andy Samberg gives Dale an optimistic but ditzy persona, while John Mulaney gives Chip a more regal, high status persona. These two changed, but you know who hasn't? Monterey Jack from the Rescue Rangers TV series. He's still gotta have that cheese. Number 3. It might not be a Marvel movie, but it's still packing tons of CGI. Back in the days of pestering Pluto and dominating Donald Duck, we did not have the huge repertoire of computer-created characters that we now have in the 2020s. Chippendale recognizes the legacy of hand-drawn animation and computer-generated imagery not only in animation technique, but in theme. Old versus new, facelift versus face keep. CGI is the new kid in town, and the film calls that out and deals with it. Number four, you wouldn't think a film about chipmunks was gonna get real, but here we are. Old Chip and Dale didn't ask their viewers for much. All you had to know was there was a dog, there were chipmunks, and the three of them didn't get along. More recently, Chip and Dale began solving crimes with the crew. But still, the series didn't ask for too much though, as the crimes committed weren't very complex. The filmmakers for this version of Chippendale are digging a little deeper than before, commenting on the legacy of these two characters, the Hollywood system, and Disney itself. This place looks weird. Remember that animation style where everything looked real but nothing looked right? Number 5. What does it mean to be human? Chip and Dale have mostly gone unnoticed by human characters in the past. Their actions had consequences for human characters, but their actual existence was not truly realized. In the film, this is completely reversed. They are very noticed by humans this time around. With respect paid to Roger Rabbit, even in the trailer for the movie, the film imagines a world where all kinds of beings coexist, including humans and cartoon characters. To humans, the duo are legendary due to their celebrity status. And when they do things, the characters in the film know it was them who did it. And if they steal nuts, it's not going to be a five-minute short film, pal. There will be real consequences. Probably. Number 6. What did they say? Was that English? Or was that the language that Pingu speaks? The pair of pranksters used to have high-speed, nearly indecipherable conversations with each other. I mean, it was English, but barely. It was also all done by a single voice actress who did the lines for both characters. There's Disney trying to save that money again. The new Chippendale speak a lot slower, with much more distinct voices. <gasps> as Andy Samberg plays Dale and John Mulaney voices Chip. Most would agree it's much easier to follow their conversations this time around. Number 7. Much like Doctor Strange and a bunch of Spider-Men, Chip and Dale are entering the multiverse as well. The Chip and Dale universe used to be a pretty small one. You might get a Pluto or a Donald Duck or a Mickey Mouse crossover, but that was really the full extent. In the new film, anything is possible. You got old, scary Peter Pan. You got Pumbaa from the CGI Lion King. You got Borat. You got Gimli. That's Gimli from Lord of the Rings, right? I'm almost sure that's Gimli. It's not Gimli? Number 8. It only took 70 years, but these chipmunks have grown up. The old Chip and Dale was pretty easy content-wise back in the day. I mean, technically, Private Pluto was a propaganda film for the US war effort. But really, I don't think many people then enlisted to help dogs fight chipmunks. 
The new Chippendale film gets into some pretty mature themes, including aging, addiction, severed friendships. Not like kids' content hasn't gotten into these things before, I'm just saying it's a pretty big change from Annoy the Loud Duck. Number 9. Some people believe humans evolved from apes, but maybe it was chipmunks. Chippendale began as very much a pair of chipmunks. Granted, they spoke English and had some human-like moments, but these were very clearly chipmunk in design. As time has passed, the characters have become much more like humans who look like chipmunks. They got clothes, wardrobe changes, more human voices, they walk on two legs exclusively, they even have human voicemail machines. The next film with them is just gonna be two guys with the names Chip and Dale. No chipmunk stuff at all, you'll see. Number 10. Never thought I'd be talking about what motivates a chipmunk, but here we are. Over the years, the motivation of the duo have changed. In the beginning, the two were happy just to get some nuts while outsmarting whatever adversary they had to in order to get their fill. Eventually, they became rescue rangers, preventing crime and saving critters and humans alike. A pretty big step forward from the nut thievery. I'm very proud of them, for sure. The newest version of the pair has got the most complex motivations to date. They want to stay relevant in a changing world. They want to reconnect with lost friendships. They want to solve complex cases with even more complex characters. Again, I'm just saying, bigger thematic meal this go around. Number 11, five minute coffee break or two hour meal? Chippendale used to star in short animated films that took about five minutes to see what they get up to. Then a few decades later, they started rescuing people, and that took at least 22 minutes with eight minutes left available for commercial breaks. Now, finally, we get to see a full-length live-action movie featuring the two chippies. I mean, they're calling it a live-action film, but they're computer-generated chipmunks, right? So isn't it animated, not live-action? On that note, why was the new Lion King called live-action? Number 12. It's all about personal taste. Back in the day, Chip and Dale usually got their guffaws from the old character fell down and bumped their head school of comedy. This trend definitely continued into their newer series, but there were also actual jokes involved too. Granted, more child-oriented ones. It might disrupt things enough to get us With the inclusion of comedy legends like John Mulaney and Andy Samberg, and some edgier writing, the comedy from Disney Plus's new film is much more nuanced. This is not surprising at all, as the cast includes some other comedy greats from the last few decades, including Seth Rogen, Will Arnett, and Tim Robinson. Look at my eyes, looking right at your eyes. Yeah. Chippendale have had some big changes over the years, but hopefully after this video you feel less whiplash from their new look. Any changes we missed? Let us know below. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more great content. And thanks for stopping by The Things Animated.